The best all-in-one computers are excellent for those who need PC level performance without the pains of a PC setup, the inevitable cable management and the space they take up on and around a work desk. They also double as an excellent budget machine since all the components as well as the monitor are pre-built at an affordable price. AIO PCs are truly impressive because despite taking up so little workspace while combining all the necessary components of a PC, they also tend to be some of the most powerful machines on the market. Some are even capable of high workloads like gaming, graphic design and video editing. We have listed the top five all-in-one PCs and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website validconsumer.com. Number 5. Lenovo Idea Center AIO3. Lenovo's Idea Center line is a healthy mix of affordability and performance. The AMD Ryzen 4500U processor provides enough power for juggling both work and play, while the 24-inch FHD display saves on space while offering minimalistic cable management options in the back. This particular model comes with 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD storage space. Work-friendly features like the 720p webcam with a built-in privacy shutter make it a great choice for remote work situations at a lower cost than many all-in-ones. Ports, however, are somewhat limited on the Idea Center AIO3. There are two USB-A 3.0s and two USB-A 2.0 connections, but no USB-C options, and nothing like the advanced USB 4 ports that the iMac M1 can offer. An HDMI port and a 3-in-1 card reader are also included. Number 4. HP All-in-One 22 AIO computers can be pricey, but that's not the case with HP's All-in-One 22, which starts at $549.99 with an AMD Athlon 3150U processor, rising to $579.99 when equipped with a 12th generation Intel Core i3-1215U. The Athlon model is unusual in sporting a DVD writer, which is a rare sight on a computer these days, this legacy component is not available on the Core i3 version. For a budget computer, the All-in-One 22 looks pretty smart, with its 21.5-inch FHD IPS screen sitting above a speaker grille and resting on a stand fashioned from tubular metal. The webcam, HD only, pops up from the top of the screen when in use, a neat privacy measure. You can't expect stellar performance from a computer based on the Athlon 3150U or Core i3-1215U, even with a maximum 16GB of RAM on board, but if you temper your use case expectations, the HP All-in-One 22 is an excellent budget choice. Number 3. HP NV34 All-in-One The HP NV34 All-in-One computer is undeniably powerful, offering an excellent iMac alternative to Windows users who want outstanding design, fantastic features and great performance for a relatively affordable price. Our coveted 5-star rating is rarely given, which should speak volumes about how impressive it is. That's despite the fact that it runs a last-gen Intel processor and a mobile GPU. Among the many things we appreciate here are its movable 16-megapixel webcam and excellent selection of ports. On test, however, it's its stunner of a display that hogs the spotlight. This height-adjustable 34-inch 5K 21.9 screen isn't just gorgeous, it's also bright with 500 nits of brightness and 98% coverage of the DCI-P3 gamut, which makes it ideal for video editors that work in that color space. Don't like upgrading to a new computer every couple of years? It's also expandable up to 4TB of M.2 storage and 128GB of DDR4 RAM, so there's room to grow here. Number 2. Microsoft Surface Studio 2 Launched back in October 2018, Microsoft Surface Studio 2 was well received but is now distinctly long in the tooth, at least in terms of specification. It's based on the 7th generation 14nm Intel Core processors, 5 behind the current 12th generation 10nm chips. However, the Surface Studio's innovative creator-focused drawing board design is holding up well and clearly influenced the recent Surface Laptop Studio. Graphics are handled by a discrete NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with 6GB of dedicated video memory with 16GB RAM configurations or an 8GB GeForce GTX 1070 with 32GB RAM configurations. Again, these GPUs are several generations behind current models. 
With the computer components built into the base and the display able to move between conventional and drawing board modes thanks to its zero gravity hinge, the Surface Studio 2 is a striking bit of kit. The 28-inch 4K Plus multi-touch display supports the sRGB and DCI-P3 color spaces and is compatible with Microsoft Surface Pen and Surface Dial accessories. At the back of the base, there are four USB-A ports and one USB-C port, a gigabit Ethernet RJ45 port, a 3.5mm headphone jack and an SD card reader. The USB ports are all 5 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 1x1 connections. Wireless connectivity is behind the x2, no Bluetooth 5.x or Wi-Fi 6 here. Clearly, the Surface Studio 2 was due an update, and this has now arrived in the shape of the Surface Studio 2 Plus. The new model retains the same design, but now runs on an 11th generation core i7-1137H processor for up to 50% faster CPU performance with a 6 gigabit NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU for double the graphics performance. There's 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of SSD storage, a trio of USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4 ports, along with two USB-A ports and RJ45 Ethernet, plus improvements to the wireless and audio subsystems. Number one, Apple iMac 24 inch M1. Apple's M1-based 24-inch iMac, released in May 2021, is the company's first AIO to run on Apple Silicon. It's also the only current iMac, Apple having discontinued its Intel-based iMac Pro in March 2021 and the 27-inch iMac in March 2022. Built around a 24-inch 4.5K Retina display, the current iMac is impressively slim thanks to the highly integrated design of the M1 SoC system on chip with the screen panel measuring just 11.5 millimeters thick. The entry-level configuration comes in four colors, blue, green, pink, and silver, while the more expensive models with an eight core GPU add yellow, orange, and purple to the palette. There are three off-the-page configurations, starting at $1,299 for a model with an eight core CPU and seven core GPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, two Thunderbolt 3 USB 4 ports, and a magic keyboard. Stepping up to $1,499 buys you an 8-core GPU, two more onboard USB-C ports, and a gigabit Ethernet port built into the power supply, plus Touch ID on the Magic Keyboard. The $1,699 model has 512 gigabytes of storage, a fully maxed out configuration, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabytes storage, Magic Mouse plus Magic Trackpad, Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and Numeric Keypad, a fully maxed out configuration, 16GB RAM, 2TB storage, Magic Mouse plus Magic Trackpad, Magic Keyboard with Touch ID and Numeric Keypad, cost $2,658. The striking design of the 24-inch M1 iMac makes it suitable for both homes and offices, and the performance and power efficiency of the M1 SoC is impressive. However, it carries a premium price tag, and you'll need to ensure that the specification you order will cover the system's expected lifetime, because user upgrades are not an option. How to choose the best all-in-one computer for you. All-in-one PCs like their desktop and mobile counterparts come in different configurations, designs, and price tags. Choosing the best one for you, therefore, is much like when choosing a laptop or a desktop PC. You must consider things like power and performance, as well as design and features. Of course, since an all-in-one comes with its own set of peripherals, these are obvious considerations as well. Check the display and make sure that it has the right size, resolution, color coverage, color accuracy, and brightness for your workload. Ensure also that the speakers sound great. Since many AIO PCs come with their own keyboard and mouse, make sure that those are comfortable to use and reliable. Otherwise, you'll only end up spending more to get better quality peripherals. Since there are all-in-one PCs sitting at different price brackets, the price is a very important factor. Don't get an expensive one if you aren't going to take full advantage of its features and don't get a cheap one when it can't meet your demands. So that wraps up our list of the best all-in-one PCs. I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up, as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which all-in-one PC you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.